Hi, I'm Matt Brosh with Oklahoma City County Health Department. Today we're going to look at some of the things you can look around your house to help prevent uh, mosquitoes from, from forming inside your, your property. Um, one of the first things we always talk about here at the Health Department is you want to drain. You want to drain any excess of water. Um, we had an example here of, of, of an old bird bath. Um, and after the rainfall, if that water doesn't continue to flow, we're going to get stagnant water. Um, so there's a couple different options you can do um, once you have this. Of course, one, you can drain it. Another course is you can, um, you can treat it. Uh, there's a larvicide or a tablet type thing that you can put inside. It doesn't, it doesn't harm animals, um, but it prevents larvae growth from forming in there. And a lot of them work for up to 90 days. You want to make sure you want to look at your, your bird baths. You want to make sure you look at your gutters. Anywhere where there's standing water is a great habitat for, for the growth of mosquitoes. When we talk about draining standing water around your property, one of the places you can definitely look is up in gutters. Um, if gutters haven't been cleaned out in a while, it can definitely be a breeding ground for mosquitoes. So make sure uh, after rainfall or even before that we're going through and we're cleaning out these gutters at all times. Um, at the same time, uh, other things that you may see around your house may be a bucket you have on the side. Uh, you, do, you were doing some yard work over the weekend. It rained. It filled up. Um, so you want to make sure you want to cover. Easy fix. Just pour it out. Pour it out. Another thing would be uh, something you use to water your plants with. Same thing. Anything that holds water is what you definitely want to look at. And as long as it's not stagnant, then you're okay. So if you have your standing water, you can make sure you want to pour it out and refill with fresh water. Um, natural bodies of water, anything with fish in it, that's something you really don't need to be concerned with as far as uh, preventing mosquitoes. It's just those stagnant bodies of water where, where the water can stand. Um, any type of drain ditches that have running flowing water yeah, it may, may not be something you need to look at. Um, but as far as standing water, that's a key term. You want to drain any standing water. Another source of, of mosquito growth that, that we, we can sometimes see is, is swimming pools, uh, uncapped swimming pools. Uh, as you can see here, this swimming pool is maintained in well and good shape, and that's what we want. Uh, when, when we run across a pool like this, we never have any issues. Um, but we do take complaints on stagnant pools. Um, say your neighbor moved out, um, they left their pool, uh, rainwater's filled up, hasn't been treated. Um, so please feel free to contact us at occhd.org to file an online complaint and uh, we'll come out and work it. But as you can see, this pool is maintained well, this is what we want. Not just a, an HOA pool, but also your own personal pools, your neighbor's pools. Another thing we're going to talk about is being out, we're going to limit our exposure from dusk till dawn because that's when the mosquitoes are most active. We're going to make sure we have long, long sleeves when we're outside between those times periods um, and at all times. And when we're wearing long sleeve, we want to make sure we wear a, a insect repellent that contains DEET in it. So we want to make sure we're spraying our whole body. So just in recap, we're going to go over the four Ds once again. We want to drain any, any standing water in and around our property. We want to limit our time outside from dusk till dawn. We want to wear full length clothing while we're outside. And we want to make sure we wear an insect repellent that contains DEET. For more information on mosquito prevention, uh, you may contact Oklahoma City County Health Department at our website, occhd.org.